G'day, I'm Amy from Avalon the Sniffers and today we're going to cook crapple pie which is apple pie with only what you have at home. We got bread, apples, banana, butter and cinnamon cunt. It's shit, it's tasty, let's cook suckers. Let's cook. First things first, you gotta wash your filthy fucking hands. Let's do it. 20 seconds. Fuck coronavirus. All right, now I'm quickly gonna run you through all the ingredients you'll need today. The whole idea with crapple pie is it's apple pie, except you're using the ingredients that you already have at home. We got apples. I'm only gonna use two because I'm not starving. Now your water's boiling, so let's get the rest of the shit going. The next thing you'll need is some bread. You can use any bread. I'd probably use that 80 cent sweet stuff that you get from the supermarket. <laughs> some butter. If you're vegan or veggie or don't like butter, you can use anything really. Probably that Nutilex stuff goes down really nice, but you know, that's me. You're also gonna need some um, nutmeg and cinnamon. Ice cream. I didn't have ice cream, so I froze a banana. I'll let you know why shortly. You're gonna chop some apples. You're gonna peel the apples. We don't have a peeler here because we don't. And get that stupid fucking seed out. There's no method to my madness. I'm just chopping it up, really. And I think you'll be able to do the same. Place the apples in the water. Actually, mine's not boiling, so I'm just gonna turn it up a little. And I'm gonna drop it in there, even though it's not quite done, because mistakes are magic. Oh, if you have a microwave, you just go right ahead and microwave them as well. You just get a little bowl, put a tiny bit of water in there, cut up the apples, as I just did, bit of cling wrap, and chuck it in there for two minutes. Don't forget to put holes in the cling wrap, because otherwise you'll fuck shit up in some way or another that I don't know. You probably have some 80 cents breads at home, already sliced bread. Not me. I'm going to cut it. I'm struggling. I need a different knife. <laughs> All right, try a serrated edge because you're not a fuckwit. <laughs> Basically treating the bread like um, apple pie crust, so you want to make it kind of fattening. Grab your fry pan. I'm going to slap a bunch of butter on the fry pan. And so all you're going to do is fry the bread like it's a pancake. So chuck the butter in there like so. Let that heat up. Right. So I'm going to chuck my bread in with the butter, lots of butter because I like butter and just fry it right up, squish it down. I've got some thick slices but you might have thin slices so I'm squishing mine down and we'll see how it goes. Meanwhile your apples are cooking and they shouldn't be too much longer. Just keep an eye on them until they're a bit squishy and once you notice that give them a drain. I've pre-frozen some bananas because I'm out of ice cream. And with these, I'm going to make some um, fake ice cream stuff. <laughs> Don't forget to flip your bread. So, now we're going to try and blend these bananas. I just googled this, so it may or may not work. But we'll figure it out as we go along. Allegedly, according to Google, is chuck your bananas in the blender. And blend away. I might add a dash of water, because I have a sneaking suspicion that it's not going to blend straight away. So, but you add whatever you like really, I mean Bailey's or something, and if it doesn't work out, I don't know what to tell you. Meanwhile, your bread's ready, mmm, put it on the side of the plate. As you can see, I've drained the apples, the apples are now ready to be put here, but I'm just going to put in a little bit extra, because I'm a cheeky little bitch, I'm going to put a little bit of extra, there's a little bit of extra butter. And if you have any spices, nutmeg, cinnamon, very delicious, just place it a little bit on your toast. Just place your apples on the toast. And I'll just check on the ice cream. After some tiresome effort, we've blended our ice cream into a delicious mixture, aka pureed banana. But hey, we're all learning, and it is crapple pie, not apple pie, so we're just doing our best. And serve, serve, to whoever, probably yourself, because you're in isolation, you poor fucking dickhead. All your hard work's gonna pay off once you sink your teeth into this cheeky little sweet for any time, any day, anywhere, but only at home. Mmm, really good. Yum. So, the moral of the story is you don't need nothing fancy to make your life fucking sick. <laughs>